Hey man, torch it up. Torch it up. Make sure you subscribe to the page. You know, like, you put these shades yes, on. Yes, sir. This shit, bro. <laughs> cool cop, nigga. <laughs> hey man, listen, man. Um, we're gonna watch this video real quick, react to it, and come back and discuss what was said. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You wanna talk about it? I'm I'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it, even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I wanna talk about it. Yeah. Come okay. on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, well. Okay. So, so yes let's talk about it let's talk you, about it so you expect a man to go all out on the first day is that right i mean you're supposed to look at i mean when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her because i i get courted so mm -hmm. you're courting her right you're supposed to take care of her you're mm -hmm. supposed to cover her you're supposed to protect her cherish her treat her well right yeah and, and I, to do. I agree Not i i went into this factory. date as i expect uh with the expectations for myself to keep you safe mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. to respect you mm -hmm. uh to pay for your food of course pick you up of course mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman which i believe i have done i mean you yeah, and, you've been pretty and nice then, but i mean and then, cheesecake I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that or hold my hand or anything like that i mean it's too early for that okay i yeah. don't know and you i yet. can respect that i can respect that okay. when uh i got to your apartment to pick you up uh you didn't want to invite me in i can respect that too Just, we're not again i don't we're know not there. yet okay I know and then but i, I mean, mean i feel like i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do as a woman but, I, I got mean, myself all made up. There's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at I mean, look at my plan, where we were gonna go originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. Ari, right, right there. Call See, him. Call him. No. What do you mean no? <laughs> See, I specifically <laughs> told you both yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at four a.m. at four p.m. Right. Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I understand. for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, wow. if we're not there in the relationship to you know me uh, at your apartment then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a what? nice fancy relate uh restaurant as aria especially if i'm paying for the whole thing which i'm still willing to do i, mean, I would have been okay. but if we're late i mean i told I mean, we you twice late. it wasn't that late I mean, we literally left on. your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be oh and I specifically said four because maybe we could get there early 
and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will that. die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for no. death. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I ha and maybe we're not right for each other. So respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm not. So you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. He's uh, but out of the parking space. I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I am mean, not going to go through I mean, with the rest come of the on. day. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean... I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You oh. have, you made some good points. That's really? why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. Oh so, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, we're dropping you off home. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, that pretty much went the way it's should have went. I, a little teasing. <laughs> she deserved everything she got. And I'm glad it happened to her. Is she glad it happened to her? I'm so happy it happened to her. She got humble like a motherfucker. A whole a whole a whole piece of humble pie. Man, women see women like this give women a bad rap, man. Yeah. Straight up. This and this goes back to what I said before. This front facing camera. On this phone is the reason humanity is gonna go to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. for real. Think about it, right? People can broadcast themselves all over the internet now. Like literally can broadcast themselves in front of thousands of people that they don't even know and tell people she recorded this man. Embarrass herself because he made her look stupid. She recorded him trying to make him look stupid. Trying to make him look stupid. Trying to make him look stupid. Let's not get that. Yeah. She's trying to, trying make, to him make him look, him look stupid. stupid from because she was narcissistic about the whole situation. Look at me. I can't go in the Cheesecake Factory. Like I'll this. die. <laughs> Looking like this. First of all, you average at best. Bitch. Upward is bone. You average at best. I don't even see your body. And I can tell you're average at best. Oh, average at best. Take that fucking, take them braids out, oh. and let's see what you really take look like. Take them eyelashes off. Take eyelashes off, and take that makeup horrible off. pink lipstick, purple lipstick, whatever the fuck lipstick you take had on. Take that makeup off full. God, I know. Damn. You already know. This man said he waited for you for a whole hour. Outside. You got to be a special motherfucker. I got to really want to hit. The niggas do some weird shit for some pussy. I ain't gonna lie. They really do. Yeah, niggas do some shit for some pussy. I'm, I, 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 they ain't listen, man. I waited. I went. I went to a mall one time and waited in the mall for a chick for like three hours. She ain't even show up. I'm like, damn, this bitch ain't for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I get it. Every, every man probably had. Every man had that. They fell for that. Has their war they they fell for that hotel waiting in the hotel with your legs up on the side of the bed. <laughs> like, yeah. Like man. this waiting by the phone. Keep looking at your phone. See if they text. Like. But yeah, but they never show up. That's that's, that's 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 crazy. Like I can't believe she actually decided to record. Yeah, and try to make this man look like he was a sucker 
because he took it to the Cheesecake Factory. Now, that's kind of crazy. Now, I watched, uh, I don't know who it was. I wish I could give him his credit. I don't know who, I don't know who the, um, the, 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 the YouTuber was, but it was a brother, mm. and he interviewed both of them together. They both was there. And she was like, she still wasn't like kind of like all the way taking it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, excuse me, taking responsibility for the situation. Yeah. She wasn't, but, you know what I mean? She says how she was understanding. So basically, what I'm hearing is that they dragged, they really, the people dragged her for mm-hmm. that bullshit. Yeah, they did. Yeah? All her followers made her look stupid. First so she did No, she did three. This is her, actually did it four videos. The first video was this one. The mm-hmm. second video she did was she was by herself and she said she didn't understand what, like what was wrong. going on. Then she did the interview with the the guy in him and mm-hmm. the other guy. Then she did another video with the dude asking the dude, can he give her another chance? Ooh, word is bomb. Yeah. That pussy tight. I know that pussy good. <laughs> she probably she, you know what I'm you? she got checked that she liked it. Yeah. But she got checked that she liked it. She got checked that she liked it. Yeah. Because she probably she got checked. Oh, she got checked. Yeah. And didn't really thought about when everybody's telling her, Yeah, bitch, you see the the the, the, the pool out here? Yeah. Like he was really he terrible. was really trying to he was really trying to like yeah. he did everything is and he did everything right to court you. You fucked it up. And son got money. Yeah. Son got money. You yeah. can tell B got money. Yeah. My nigga got money, bro. You he, can wait, tell. he going to he going to a fancy restaurant with a fucked up tea on. You know he got money. <laughs> Word, that's what I'm that's saying. how they be dressing anyway sometimes. Yeah. But boy, boy, boy got money. But yeah, man. So that's what I'm saying. So it's kinda like with her. It was kinda like you all of that sense of entitlement shit gotta stop. Ladies, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. To me, he handled that very well. He was what I call an alpha beta. He wasn't a hawk or a monster about it. Mm-hmm. He basically said, look, I did everything in my power to make you happy, and you and you broke every rule, so mm-hmm. now I'm taking your ass home. Facts. That's it. Facts. He ain't disrespect her. Nope. And he said, oh, you recording me? Okay. Yeah. He didn't get offended. Nope. He said, you recording me? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it for everybody. Yeah. Let me, let me literally, and she thought in her head, okay, well, no, I'm a woman. I'm always right. I got this. Yeah. It don't matter. That's, that's what it seemed. Yeah. That's and what exactly happened? how it seemed. Guys, if you ever come across a girl like this, run the fucking other way. Run the other Unless you way. like toxic bitches like this or, or fucked up mentality bitches like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Get your pussy. But if you don't, and you really a genuinely good person, don't put up with no chick like that. Yeah, she asked him for another date. She knew she fucked up the bag. Yeah, yeah. And now she's trying to sit there, bro. Still stay away from that chick. Yeah. Cause she knows she now she knows she fucked up the bag. Yeah. She's trying to get the bag back. Yeah, yeah. And she only wants the bag, bro. She don't yeah. like you. Yeah, she don't like you. She, she only like wants she, the bag, she, bro. She do look like she got some good pussy. Though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she do. She do. Yo, she's she tall. like she look like I don't know if she's I tall. think she was like, nah, she is. She's like 5'11. I oh, watched yeah, it though. She definitely got some good she pussy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She said she was like 5'11. So Damn. I don't know. I don't know if that's like she's that. She's taller than him. And she had on heels? Yeah. She's taller than him. Yeah, she he wasn't definitely no 5'11. I'm eleven. So so basically, I'm the son said. So her her standards, I and mean, I know yeah. her being five eleven. Yeah, her standards is a tall man. You feel me? Probably came down. He he said you didn't want to hold my hand. It's, you know what I mean? She said it's too early for that. Like, but it ain't too early for you to go to a fancy restaurant. A, like, come on, a fancy restaurant. Like, my thing is like, where, 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 it's nothing wrong with the cheesecake factory. I don't know why. I love we, cheesecake factory. Yes, man. like. You know what the problem is with these women? They always saying that something's a chain, but then they always eat at a chain restaurant every day. Oh, she'll eat at a chain restaurant. I know she eats at the chain restaurant. All day, every day. Tell me she don't. I know she do. She's don't sit liar, here and try to act though. like you don't eat at no chain restaurant. No, I just go to motherfucking McDonald's. Yeah. McDonald's. Mm-hmm. You probably go to Starbucks. All the chains. They oh, all that's, chains. that's a chain. There's nothing special about that fucking place. Yeah, I can't believe you're taking me to the Cheesecake Factory. Like, what? The Cheesecake Factory is always packed. 
Always. 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 It's always a waiting list. I don't care what time you go. It's always you have to wait. Yep. At least the one in my area. You well, always well, got to wait. You can't just always. get seated. Hell no. If if it was that bad, it wouldn't be that many people there. Like, and it's not that it's not that it's cheap because it's not that cheap either. You know what I'm saying? And I was and, and I seen the guy. The guy was like, "Yo, this place is." He gave, one, he gave her another chance because he explained like, "Yo, this place is like kind of like sacred to me and my family. My family in here. We come here. We break bread. We have a great time. This is what me and my family does." Yeah. So if you're gonna be with him, you're gonna be going to that cheesecake fucking factory. But this is what their family. His family loves to go there. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that was his another te- that was another test that he was giving yeah. her. Like, can yeah. I take her to Cheesecake Factory? So you gonna See be able she, to yeah. be with my family? Exactly. And she didn't even know it. it she, like, she didn't know. It, she didn't it, know. It, so it was it, another it, test. It's like it's like with women. What kills me is they have this thing where they gotta jump to the last level. It's like okay, <laughs> yeah. He taking you to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. You should roll with it. See how it goes. And if he like you, then he take you to the next level. Then the next level. They feel like they have to jump to the end of the game. Like oh no. It, you know what it is? They want to get the most they can get out of you on the first date. So even if they, even if it don't work out, they could brag to their friends. Well, she, but she took me to a place where I, it was two hundred dollars a plate. Motherfucking plate. Two hundred dollars a plate. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I still ain't give him no. And I, yeah, and I ain't give him shit. He mm-hmm. just took me, and I ain't say. I was like, when they dropped me up, I was like, all right, see ya. Mm-hmm. I gave him a high five and a yep. pat on his back, back and that up. was it. And I ain't. And he tried to hit me up, and I was like, no. Because most of you goofy bitches want a free meal. That's it. Mm. That's why I take bitches. When I take girls out, I take them to the cheapest place. I take them, I'll be like, you like some Mexican? They be like, yeah. <laughs> I take them right to this Mexican spot around where I live. And it's cheap. Yeah. And it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but it's cheap. Like, that's for both of them? Yeah. I, listen, I always take you on a cheap first date. I'm sorry. Then I take you to, if you good, like, if, you, if I like you. I'll take you to the steakhouse. Ooh. Brazilian steakhouse. Oh, yeah. Me, the meat keep yeah, coming. I mean, let that meat keep coming. And after that, the meat gonna keep coming to you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what it is, man. So I don't know what to tell you. But yeah. hey, shout out to him, man. Yeah, word is mean? born. Word is born. I'm glad he did his thing. I don't thing, know his man. name, but shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Word is born. Because I was seeing him on the um on the interview, and yeah. this guy was like totally like acting like that. Maybe he was wrong. Like, no, man, stand up on your. Yeah. That's like you were saying about the whole beta yeah. alpha type situation. Yeah, yeah. He was, he wasn't, he like, he wasn't standing. Like, he sometimes he's like, kind of regretting how he did it. Nah, fuck yeah, that nah, shit, nah. nigga. You did that shit perfectly. You did it right. You Where did it going? right. Even it was so perfect that she couldn't, she couldn't even be yeah, mad. She couldn't be mad. She couldn't be mad at you because you were still respectful throughout the whole shit. Yeah. You ain't right call back. her out her name. She came right back. You ain't call her out her name. You ain't tell her she wasn't shit. Yep. You know what I mean? You just laid out, you laid, you laid how you felt. So, brother, kudos to you. All right, man. All right, man, we out of here, man. Pleasure to talk. You know.